When I was a kid, there was nothing better than a new car. And I looked forward to every September when the new models came out and were shown. I think I was first aware of this in 1955. We had a 53 Chevrolet. And when the 55s came out, I begged my dad, take me to the dealer. I want to see that car. It is so sleek. It is so nice. It is so cool. We should buy one, dad. Of course, that wasn't going to happen. So literally, my grandparents bought a 1955 Chevrolet in 1955, and I was so jealous. I was so excited, though, for the summers when I'd go up there and get to ride in it. My grandfather used it to haul cantaloupe to town to sell. I just thought the lines on that car were spectacular. I especially liked the hood ornament, which looked like a jet fighter plane. The interior was amazing. The dash, the instruments looked just like it was out of a spaceship. Radio was in the center. On the right side was the radio speaker. 15 years ago, my dad called me, asked me if I wanted the 55, which had been handed down to him. I said, certainly. We trailered the car up to McPherson from the farm in Oklahoma who had been stored in a tractor shed. And my good friend Rob Pike, who is probably one of the best mechanics I know, tore into it. He sent me a list of parts we needed. I'd order them from Eckler's. Eckler's would ship them in. He did all the work on it, brought it back up to what I would call drivability. Rob did an amazing job on the car. You start it up, it just fires right up, idles smoothly, purrs like a kitten, and is very tractable. It's a 235 straight six, got all kinds of power. A hundred years ago, there weren't many roads in Kansas. In fact, they weren't even numbered. They were identified by color. There was the blue way, the green way, the red way, the white way, and we drove on the White Way Run, 100th anniversary in 2014. There were probably close to 100 cars in that road run. And I would venture to say that ours was the only one that had been in the family since it was new. Nothing like cruising with that thing, get the windows down. That was the only air conditioning. No real amenities like we have today. No power steering, no power brakes, no, no power door locks, no power windows. Just uh, takes a, a lot of muscle to drive the thing. I can see now why people like the new automatics and all the other stuff they have in their cars, but something about driving this, it's, it's a driver's car. And I enjoy driving. I'm not sure what the future of the 55 is. Right now, um, neither of my kids want it, and I just enjoy driving it. So maybe eventually one of these days I will sell it. <laughs>